Hurry, please. Yes, ma'am. I know just the place. I guess you'll be wanting a lawyer, too, won't you? What makes you think I want a lawyer? Well, lady, you're in Reno. In case you do, there's a good one. Thank you. You understand, of course, Mrs. Carlo. You'll have to establish a residence of six weeks. I understand. Now then, how long were you married? Two hours. Two hours? Yes. You see, I thought he was a businessman. That's what he led me to believe, a broker. Well, I, I was introduced to him in my bosses, and we always met under the most favorable circumstances. There was no reason for me to suspect anything, but... Well, Mr. Carlo is a notorious racketeer. But I don't recognize the name Carlo as being identified with any of the big-time rackets. Well, right after we were married, he told me... Mr. Martin, you've heard of Nick Collins. Nick Collins? Oh, yes, of course, the newspapers. You don't mean to say... Yes, he's the same. Well, this is serious. I suppose the divorce with him. Oh, no, no, I was afraid. I wanted to get away and out of this mess just as fast as I could. That's why I'm here. Nick Collins, eh? By the way, Mrs. Carlo, who sent you to me? Oh, a taxi cab driver. He gave me your card. I see. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to handle your case. But there won't be any question about the fee. I'm not dependent on that man. It's not a question of the fee. I prefer that you take your case to some other attorney. I see. Good day. Good day, Mrs. Carlo. Miss Smith. Take a telegram. Send it immediately to uh, Mr. Howard Carlo, Riviera Hotel, New York City, New York. Yeah, we want three places on the coast plane for tonight. Have you got those bags packed yet? Right away, Nick. I said we want three places on the coast plane for tonight. Huh? Hold the wire a minute. Hey, Nick. What name will I reserve them places in? You know my name. Howard Carlo. The name is Carlo. You got me. Carlo. Howard Carlo. Frankly, Mr. Parker, I'm afraid he'll make trouble if he finds out. Probably there isn't anything he'd stop short of. Well, are you willing to take the case? Of course. But I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. I mean, where you're concerned. But I'm sure nobody knows I came to Reno. Yes, but there's no more likely place to come for a divorce. The thing to do is to conceal yourself somewhere. Well, yes, but where? I have it. A friend of mine has a ranch only a short way out. A and, new uh, ranch? No, no. A real ranch. No one would go there looking for you. Of course, he's not exactly equipped to accommodate boarders, but, well, can you rub it for a little while? It's only for six weeks, you know. I think so. Good. I'll have the car pick you up at the hotel in about an hour, say. Well, that'll be fine. And, uh, by the way, you need to buy some clothes for roughing it. But you haven't told me your friend's name. Lee Rogers, and you'll find him a regular fellow. I know he'll be willing to help you out. 
Are you sure it wouldn't be imposing? Or, that is, could I go there just like anybody looking for board? Why, of course. Just explain it to them. Or you don't need to if you don't wish to. Thank you, Mr. Parker. Better step on it, Nick, if we want to make that plain. All packed and ready to go. Now, you understand what to do, Doc. Carry on just as if I were here. You can depend on me. If anything turns up, just wire me in Reno. Care of that lawyer. Austin B. Martin. Hey, you better take that. Oh, uh, by the way, send him a wire. Tell him to keep his eye on his wife of mine. And also that I'll drop in on him sometime tomorrow. Too bad you got to go to all this trouble, Nick. It's not half as much trouble as it will be for her. She can't make a sucker out of me. Come on, boys, grab those bags. Let's be on our way. Is this the Rogers Ranch? You said it. Well, uh, I'm an artist. I'm looking for accommodation. I was told I might be able to make some arrangements to stay here. Oh, of course I expect to pay. Oh, you pay? How much? Well, whatever you think is right. It's a swell layout. At your two ranches. They show you plenty. How about five bucks a day? Oh, that's perfectly satisfactory. No. Yes. Okie dokie, you wait inside, I'll get the big shot. Big shot? Yeah, the boss, Mr. Rogers. Well, uh, shall I dismiss the car? Sure, scram, I'll be seeing you. Take a deep seat, cowboy, for a long ride. You ready, boss? Let it go. Want to try it? <laughs> no, not me. How about you, Patty? Sure. Boy, I'll show him what Bronco Bussin was like when Bronco Bussin was Bronco That's Bussin. Right. Come on, Patty, get right in the middle of him, boy. Oh, oh boy. You know, Lee, it's sort of taking an unfair advantage of him. Uh, giving him another going over after you've already got him tired out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Patty, absolutely right. Oh, boy. What's the trouble now, Tabasco? I just make one swell deal for you. Good. 35 bucks a week. 35 bucks a week for what? I grab off a border. You grabbed off a what? A border. And he see a swell deal. Wait till you see her. She? Well, I'm not going to see her, and you get rid of her. But she'll have paid 35 bucks a week to paint. Well, let her paint someplace else. But she changed the car away already. Phone for another one. But she's in the house already. How am I going to tell her her that you saw? You and your 35 bucks. Well, I'll go tell her myself. How do you do? How do you do? This is boss, Mr. Rogers. How do you do, Mr. Rogers? My name is Joan, Joan Enright. How do you do, Miss Enright? Say, lady, you know that day we remain? Yes. We don't make it. You see... Well, what Tabasco is really trying to say is that the place is... Oh, you don't have to apologize, Mr. Rogers. Well, I think your ranch is lovely. It's so picturesque. Yes, but it hasn't the grip to the... But that's why I like it. So simple and restful. Oh, please don't worry about me, Mr. Rogers. Well, I'm not exactly worried, Miss Enright. You mean you don't want me here? No. No, I wouldn't exactly say that. Uh, oh, no. Boss wouldn't say that. You like it? See up there, maybe? Well, I'd love to. Come on, I'll show you. How lovely. 
Sure. It's the cat's whiskers. Bathroom in the house. You like it? Oh, yes. What kind of a housekeeper are you anyway? You know this is no boarding house. Why didn't you tell her to go to a dude ranch? Fred, why didn't you tell her? Why didn't I? I will. Everything Jay bought, she's parked. Didn't I tell you I didn't want any boarders here? Where's she parked? In your room. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe you made a mistake. What'd you say? I say, okie dokie, boss, I'm a wife. determined to go through with that divorce. And if she does, she's bound to stay in the county for at least six weeks. Six weeks? Well, you've got just two days. What do you mean, I've got just two days? You heard me. Find her. Yes? Bring it in. Who's it from? Doc? Yeah. Prison, Nick. The smart boys in Washington are active again. Do they know we're out here? I hope not. First thing they blew New York. And they call this a free country. What's this? Our borders. She wants her chow upstairs. Oh, she wants a chow upstairs, does she? Now, you listen to me, Tabasco. I don't want the routine of this ranch upset. She eats downstairs just like the rest of us. Okie dokie, I tip her off. Wait a minute. I'll tip her off. You see what you've got to have extra furniture. Now, see here, Mr. Light. This is no dude ranch. You see what you've got to have extra service. You better go someplace else. As I said before, Miss Enright, this is no dude ranch. If you feel that you... Oh, good morning. Good morning. Here's your breakfast. Well, come right in. Sit it over here on the table. I thought it would be much nicer to have breakfast in here. Don't you think so? Can you have a tablecloth? No, I haven't. Oh, that's all right. We don't need it. Miss Enright, uh... Oh, what a breakfast. You understand this isn't a dude ranch. Why, it's better than a dude ranch. Imagine being served by the master of the house. Well, Tabasco was busy with the boys. Oh, that's all right. You're doing beautifully. Oh, marvelous grapefruit. What I've been trying to say, Miss Enright, is... Oh, I'm sorry. Here. No, it's all right. If there's anything else you'd like to just whistle. Like this? Yeah, that'll do. May I have some water? Sure. Is there Lee in? Well, he was the last time I saw him. Oh, fine. Will you tell him I'm here? Oh, he's busy. Oh, well, in that case, I'll... Uh... Hello, Arthur. Oh, hello, Lee. Right here. What's the matter with your leg? Oh, a chair kicked me. 
Well, I'm sorry to trouble you so early in the morning, Lee, but I'll be tied up in town a little later, maybe all day. Well, sit down. Oh, thanks. Just a few little matters that need to be attended to. All right, shoot. There's an adjustment on your inheritance tax. All you ever do is sign it. Good. $98 refund. Something for nothing? And this is an order of authorization. Changing the membership in the Cattlemen's Guild from your father's to your name. Here's something that I, uh, I hesitated telling you about, Lee, but, uh, well, uh, you can see for yourself. What's this for? Well, that's a demand note for $10,000, signed by your father, which, of course, makes the estate liable. Yeah, but it's made out in your name. Why didn't I know of this before? Well, I, I hesitated to embarrass you by putting it through the bank. I thought I'd give you a little time. I, I still would, only I've got to have money. How much? Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand dollars? Well, you're not serious. Sorry, Lee, but I've got to have it. You know as well as I do I can't raise ten thousand dollars. If I'd known a month ago, maybe I could, but now I... I didn't need it then. Now I do. However, I don't want to be tough on you. I'll give you a week to pay it off. Don't be silly. Where on earth could I raise $10,000 within a week? I don't know. You haven't got the cash, you've got the ranch. And you'd like to have the ranch. Oh, I'd rather have cash than real estate. However, if you give me no choice... Wait a minute. You know, there's only one thing I'm sorry for. What's that? That I didn't take Jim Parker's advice. Did he advise? Not to trust you. Get my water? No, I, uh... Oh, never mind. I'll get it. Where is it? In there. Coffee, too? Yes, or anything else you want. Patty! Yeah, I'll... Start checking on the roundup, I'll... You're going out on the range the first thing in the morning. Oh, but Lee, them cattle ain't got enough cattle on them yet. Well, they won't bring nothing like top prices. Doesn't make any difference. You've got to sell them anyway. All right, get going. Ah, it's pretty now, don't you? Yes, ma'am, it's your old duty dip. Well, what are you going to do with them now? Well, I'll bring them to the corral after a bit. No. Come on. I'll take you back to the corral. trying to help. If you really want to help, go paint, go do anything. Or I'll never get this roundup started. Roundup? Oh, isn't that lovely? Lovely. Long hours, hard riding, camping in the open, sleeping on the ground. What's lovely about that? But that's what I want to do, rough it. Oh, I love it. You love it. Well, if you want to do your roughing, do it at home with a paintbrush. Oh, please, can't I go? No.
bad layout. I don't blame you, Martin. I've realized that for some time. Good morning, my dear Mrs. Hogan. Will you tell Mr. Rogers that we'd like to see him? <laughs> sure, I can't hold that loud. What do you mean? I mean he's out on the range. What's he doing out there? He's asking your friend, sure he can tell you. You ought to be ashamed to show your ugly face around here. Why, my dear Mrs. Hogan. Don't dear Mrs. Hogan me. It's all on account of you. He has to go out on the roundup at this time of the year. Who's in the house? There's no one here but myself. Everybody else is out on the roundup. Yeah? What about the young lady? Yes, I understand you have one living here. And we want to see her. And I told you there was no one here but myself. Now, if there's any more information you'll be wanting, you'll be getting it from Mr. Rogers. Yeah? Well, I think I'll take a look anyway. If you don't clear out of here, I'll break this broom over your dirty skull. You're not going to let this old turkey by this scare you off, are you? Oh, you're not. I'll show you. Get down. Holy jumping grasshoppers. Wait your boss tissue. Oh, I'll take care of the boss. Yeah, and the boss will take care of me. Now, don't you worry. You're saving us both a lot of trouble if you beat them back. But I can't walk back. It's too far. Now, you just relax. Come on, I'll drive. Come <laughs> Get out and, and stay out. Get out of here. Okay, Kurt. Okay, Toot, you fresh thing, you. You know where this round up's taking place? Yes, Mark. We're going out there. What for? There's a girl around that's digging someplace. I saw her clothes upstairs in the bedroom. You did? Well, we can't get out there in the car. I'll dig it out. On horseback. Say, we might be able to find a couple of horses in the corral. Horses? Well, boss. Thanks. Sit down, Come on. 
remember me? How did you get here? On the wagon. I'm a stowaway. Oh. You know what they do with stowaways? No. Tabasco, come here. Well, Tabasco didn't have anything to do with it. Listen, boss, never I... Mind, never mind. Have you got another apron? Yeah, sure. Give it to Miss Enright. She's your new dishwasher. week, don't you? Hey, take it easy, won't you? Oh. Come on, get on. Uh, oh, isn't he darling? Poor little critter ailing. Oh, that's too bad. Where's your mother? That's it over there with her head over the fence. She don't like having it took away from her. Can I help? We're doing all right. You better get back and finish manicuring those dishes. Fred. You know, she's all right, Patty. She can take it. Yeah. You sure have been dishing it out. Why don't you tell him he's dumb? I look hell of the water. Well, thanks, Tabasco. But Mr. Rogers seems to think I need the exercise. Why don't you take it easy? I love finish, Ralph. Oh, no, Tabasco. He thinks he's going to make me beg off, but I'll show that big cheap sourpuss. <laughs> That's the world, big cheap sourpuss. <laughs> well, it's just what he is. Why, he's the kind of a man that push little coats off of a hook. You'd get through with your work a lot sooner if you didn't have so much to say. As long as you're at it, you might as well get them. No use letting too many people know who I am. Just play down. You keep your friend Rogers busy while I look around a bit. Well, that's better. It's just like my father always said. Actions speak louder than words. Well, my father always told me to practice what I preach. Fine, talk, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Hello, Martin. Hello, Larry. Starting round up kind of early, aren't you? Well, yes and no. Looks like I'm going to get rid of the ranch, so I thought I'd get the cattle out of the way. I see. How many heads you got? To tell you the truth, I haven't tallied very close. Maybe enough to swap for a few winter groceries. Who's your friend? Prospect? Yeah, perhaps. You're kind of hopping the gun a little early, aren't you? I'm not ready to show prospects through the house yet. Hey, you! Keep out of the kitchen. The cook doesn't like it. If you want a shoe shine, get a boot black. Not very polite, are you, buddy? Neither are you. Okay, that makes two of a kind. Check. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Hey, I believe you're looking for trouble. No, I'm not looking for it. I'm just not trying to duck it.
Okay, if you want to be nasty about it. Don't give it to me. You got it off the line. Okay, buddy. Okay, pal. Okay. Those are my horses, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Patty! Thanks for bringing them out. They'll come in handy this afternoon. What? Careful. Drop in again sometime. Okay, boys. I'll stick around in case. Come on now, if you like. You were hiding from him, weren't you? Well, yes, in a, in a way. You're in trouble. Something to do with that fellow. What makes you think that? Perhaps because you picked on a ranch like this. And I can't for the life of me figure out unless it was something or somebody you wanted to hide from. I told you I liked it here. Isn't that reason enough? Well, I know, but usually when an eastern girl is looking for western atmosphere, she, she goes to a dude ranch where she can get some comfort. You are from the east, aren't you? Perhaps. I'd rather not. Sure, we'll be glad to get back to town so I can get a few inches of sleep. Not a bad idea. I want to be at my best when I come back to turn the heat on that hillbilly. Take it easy, won't you? And don't hit any bumps. you with your bedroll. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. Well, what will we sing now, fellas? I know a song. Oh, belly me not in the lone valley, where the cry of the young and grow over me, in the narrow grave of justice, six or five, three. Oh, belly me not in the lone valley. <laughs> That's swell. Come on, Tobacco, give us another one. <laughs> Kamala. Kamala, Kamala. I can hardly keep up with you. I'd like to see the look on Tabasco's face when he first saw you on the wagon. Well, how about yours when you first saw me here? Yeah, and the look on yours when you were elected dishwasher. You thought that that was going to be terrible punishment, didn't you? But it hasn't. It's been a lot of fun. 
Just the same. I'll bet you'll be glad when the roundup's over. Oh, I admit, it will be much nicer to have you serve my breakfast in my room. <laughs> now, but seriously, I'm sure you'll sleep lots easier now that you're able to pay off your debt. Yeah, I guess I will. You know, John, you've been a good sport on this trip. You made it a lot easier for all of us. Oh, like you say that to all the stowaways. <laughs> good night. Good night. something cheerful like You open that gate out there. But I didn't think. You didn't think. I suppose you think we closed that gate for fun, huh? I was only taking. The I know. You've been fooling around here playing pranks while the boys have been working their heads off. You made a swell mess of things. Joan. Joan. Joan, you're hurt. It doesn't matter. Well, of course it matters. I'm sorry. I should have known you didn't realize what you were doing, but. All I could think of was the terrific loss. <coughs> Don't you worry. We'll herd them back in. May take a little while, but... Come on. Buck up, Tom. Give me a smile. That's... Hello, Lee. Hello, Shorty. Any of the boys get in yet? Yeah, they all drifted in from time to time with a few heads, but they must have scattered all over creation. I hope they had better luck than I did. Take the saddle off, King, will you? Why don't you stretch out for a while, Lee? You look like you're all in. Yeah, I guess I will. Tough break. Got that waiting for you, boss. Thanks, Tabasco. How's Miss Enright? Oh, she go back to the ranch last night. Back to the ranch? What'd you let her go for? I couldn't stop her. She feeling well a bit over what she done last night. She thinks she make you lost the ranch. Oh, you pinheaded idiot, you big butt. Don't you realize that girl's in trouble? When I tell her pretty, he say same thing. Then he scram after her. Here. Shorty! Shorty, I'm going back to the ranch. You take charge while I'm gone.
hello, operator. Give me long distance. Long distance? I want to speak to an attorney, Mr. James Parker. His office is in the security building in Reno. You told me to wake you up. Well, why didn't you? I'm making this check out in your favor, Mr. Parker. Then you can handle it as you think best. Only I don't want Mr. Rogers to know I had any part in it. You can manage it, can't you? Why, yes. I imagine so, if you prefer it that way. didn't see you, you're still safer here than any place else. However, I'll check up on him as soon as I get back to town. Well, I wish you would, Mr. Parker. And thank you. You're quite welcome, Miss Enright. Okay, blast him. Hey, look out! your husband, remember? Get away from me. Now, is that nice? Start packing. I'm not going with you. I won't go. Oh, yes, you are. Get your things. I told you I'm not going with you. No? Well, I'll show you. You don't know what you're talking about. Boys, get her bags. Federal Bureau of Investigation. Where's Martin? Hi. Andrew. There's no use in lying, Martin, but we have the goods on you. Here's a copy of the telegram that you sent Collins on the 22nd. Now, come on, where is he? I've told you I don't know. Say, what do you want to get dragged into this for? Do you think you can buck the United States government? Come clean. Where is he? Close the grip and take it down to the car. If you've got a happy coach, you better get it. Too bad your friend Rogers isn't here. I'd like to tell him goodbye. Somebody's coming. Now. 
Now, isn't that just dandy? Howard, please. What are you going to do? Oh, so this guy means something to you, eh? I want you to meet Mr. Carlo, my husband. Your husband? Yes. We just had a little misunderstanding in New York, but everything is all right now, isn't it, Howard? Thanks for taking such good care of my wife. Oh, by the way, I owe you for a week's board. You don't owe me a thing. Okay, boys, take the bag downstairs. I hope I haven't been too much of a nuisance. Are you sure everything's all right, Joan? Why, of course. Just a minute, buddy. I wasn't talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you, see? Come on. Wait a minute. What well, you're asking? So are you. Lee, they're coming. Get away from there. Let me alone. I'll be down in the car. Put some heat on this hillbilly. All right. Yes. Come on, tough guy, get up. Cattle business must be pretty good this year, Lee. Yeah, fine. Uh, what shall we do? Give you credit for the full amount? Well, no. You better take out 10000 to cover the loan that Jim Parker negotiated for me. Split the balance, half to my account and half from Traveler's Check. 
Taking a vacation, huh? Yeah, sort of. I'll be back for the check. All right, baby, be ready. 